what older people have to say. It's a resource that often younger people forget. And my mother inspired me to recycle the rubbish and garbage that we took from Antarctica. So I'm proud to say that all of this we took back to South America, 3,000 miles, and we recycled it. So when I'm speaking to young people around the world, I often say to them, look, if we can recycle 1,500 tons of rubbish, you might be able to move your arm and put the bottle or can in the recycling bin. And on this day, it was a great day, ladies and gentlemen, the rubbish was removed, the penguins came out of the ocean onto their beautiful, clean beach. But on this day, I think I learned the most important message for you on leadership. And I think it's very important as leaders to remember to be relevant. Relevancy is a very important word. Because it's very easy to think that you are being relevant for your family, the people you love, the people who love you, for your business, for your world, for your community. But you should have a check. I think at least once a year, are you still being relevant? Because it's very easy to think you're being relevant. One day wake up and find you're not being relevant. So I think not only for yourself, but you should inspire other people you know, who you work with just to think, are you being relevant? And I realized on this day, and it was a bad day, it was meant to be a big celebration. And I realized that I couldn't help preserve Antarctica by being a rubbish collector. I couldn't. I had to become more business-like. Why would people go to Antarctica? They would go there to exploit it. They would maybe go there for fossil fuels. And I thought, I need to change the way I'm thinking. So I decided the best way to help preserve Antarctica would be to make it not financially worth going there to exploit it, to be more business-like. So I realized that the people who will perhaps save Antarctica will be accountants, KPMG, for example. And in 25 years, they will look at a balance sheet on the exploitation of Antarctica and simply say it's not worth financially going to exploit Antarctica. How do we do that? Easy. Use more clean, renewable energy here in the real world. And if we're saving energy, using different types of biofuels, solar, wind power, it won't be worth going there to exploit it. So I changed my life to become a renewable energy champion and renewable energy tester. Be relevant. And as we sailed north on our old ship with the rubbish on board, Antarctica sent a message to us all. And the message was, in one month, an area 10 times the size of the UAE broke off from Antarctica, the Larsen B ice shelf. 10 years ago, 12 years ago, this happened. And this was the first time that Antarctica told us to listen. Would we listen would be another question. So first, remember I've made a promise to the world leaders 
that we would go and see them 10 years after the first summit. So the first World Summit was here in Rio, the second one would be held in Johannesburg. So we sailed back from Antarctica on our yacht, we've done the global mission, removed all that rubbish, recycled it, and we arrived back in Africa. And here we are, we must find a relevant local mission. And helping preserve Antarctica is not very relevant. It really isn't. 